is Arib CUS here, and today we're going to do something fun. We're going to be closing our AWS account. And so for a lot of people, if you're using AWS, you're probably using compute services, like maybe uh, EC2, uh, you could be doing like uh, some S3 storage, uh, maybe you have some kind of um, uh, database, like an RDS or something. Okay, so in either case, um, it may be that you want to close your account. Also, maybe you've had the 12-month free tier and you don't want to be billed um, after the 12 months is up and you maybe got a notification from Amazon uh, letting you know that whatever free instance you have is now going to be billed at the full rate. Okay guys, so it's actually really not that simple to close your account, but there are ramifications to doing that and Amazon makes that very clear uh, if you do that. Let's pretend here if I were to click on my account here, you right click or so you click here and you go to my account, um, here's what would open up here. Um, you go down here all, all the way to the very bottom, scroll all the way down. It's not a menu item. Uh, it's close account. And you can click this and you have to understand all these things. Basically what they're telling you is that if you close your account, you lose all access um, to all past billing, tax information. Uh, you can't manage any services. Uh, also, even worse, if you just close your account and don't stop your services, apparently they still continue to get billed. So before you close your account, make sure we cancel all of the services uh, that you might be running. Otherwise, you can still be billed. Also understand, of course, just because you cancel it now or close your account doesn't mean that the services you've accrued a balance on aren't going to be billed to your account. Okay, so they make you sign off on all these points here that you understand that you basically what happens if you close your account and that you're going to be liable, I guess, for any charges and you know anything that you do uh, that cancels the account in the wrong way. So I think it's a little unfortunate. I do wish that you could just close your account and would list all the services that it's canceling and just cancel them for you so you don't have to worry. Uh, but since uh, that's not the case, here's how we can do it in, I think, a pretty safe way. Uh, so for many of you, if you're using EC2, for example, uh, you could just click here on EC2. Uh, the problem with that is that you might actually not realize what else you're running here. Um, so in my case, right, there's nothing running here in Ohio region. The problem is, though, that basically every region, for the most part, is actually enabled. Uh, so to go through each region and see what you're running is kind of, I think, impractical, right, to go through each one, easy to miss it. Um, so what I would actually recommend is you click here on Services and use uh, the Resource Groups and Tag Editor. This will allow you to search all regions at once uh, for the services that you are looking to find. So let's go to Tag Editor. Okay, so in this case, the Tag Editor uh, has chosen US East 2 for me. I don't want that. Uh, if I want to close my account, I want to make sure I'm aware of everything that's running. Um, now you can do it so it shows all resource types. That's kind of impractical, but if you really want to be thorough, you can do that. Uh, but it shows all kinds of services like uh, DHCP ranges that are not billed and takes a long time to show it. In my case, if you know, if you feel confident, okay, I was just running EC2 instances, I would just type here, type instance, right? And if you have just a normal instance, you could click on search resources. And now it's going to show me any EC2 instance that's running in any location. So in this case, okay, it shows me this one here, right? I can just right click on it and open it up here and I can now cancel it. So you want to do this for all of your services. Uh, but like I said, if you're not sure of what you're running, you actually want to go through all the services uh, in case you have something that you didn't realize was running because you will be billed for those even if it uh, if your account is canceled. Okay, and you go to instant state, instant state, and say terminate instance. Okay, click on terminate. Of course, guys, before you do this, make sure that no infrastructure that's critical to yourself, um, you know, some critical stuff to your company um, or to yourself is running on this instance. And in my case, uh, these, this was just a test one I created just to show you how to terminate this instance. So I know nothing's on it. So click on terminate. Okay, good. So we know it's not there. Let's do a refresh to make sure that really it's gone, but it did tell us that it has been terminated and deleted. Okay, so we see it's shutting down. Uh, so we know it, it's it's on the way out. Okay, so if you had other um, services here, you'd want to do the same thing for each one. Um, but don't just rely on this, okay? In my case, I knew the only thing I had running possibly was an EC2 uh, normal instance. If you do have an Elastic IP, that you would search for that as well. Um, but like I said, if you're really not sure what you have, it's been a long time, then I would go under all supported resource types. So once you've done this and you're sure everything is deleted, now we can go back, of course, uh, to our billing management console here and say, I want to close my account. Right? I understand, I understand. And we say, thank you and goodbye to Amazon. 
and we close our account. And that's the end of it, guys. Account has been, has been closed. Uh, so hopefully you've done everything right and you won't be billed and you can move on to uh, whatever provider that you're looking for. So guys, I hope this has been helpful. This has been Areeps US here. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.